Hi there, my name is Moala and welcome to my tutorial. I want to speak about two beauties of Bfrex pages. Do you want to know about them? Stay tuned. To show you the beauty of Bfrex pages, I created a normal project with normal activity, what we do normally. One activity here and one layout and main activity and main layout here. Let's run it. And later I want to create something like this by before X pages. Okay, by clicking on this one, I can see this activity which has one edit text and one label. If my user starts typing here and then he's back, I don't know why it's a little slow. Okay, let's go back. Oh my God, it's not here, it's gone. So how can I keep it? How can I keep the data that my user has entered in one edit text or in other parts of the activity or layout? It's very important, isn't it? To keep the data. Normally what we do is using text change and storing the data somewhere, for example, text file or other options that we have. Anyway, that's difficult. Or we cannot say that's difficult, but it's a kind of pain for keeping each data of each view. The other problem that we have is transaction of data between two activities. For example, this is main activity. And this is another activity here. For example, I type something here. And now I'm back or I'm somewhere else in my activity. And I need the data which I entered here. For example, by clicking on this one, I need the same data. So I have two targets in this tutorial. First of all, how to keep the state of views in BeforeX pages. Is there anything there to help us? The other thing is transaction of data between two activities. Normally what we do, for example, one option is, for example, defining one uh, global variable here and maybe here. Then my user starts typing in that edit text, maybe I can store that in this variable. Then finally by clicking on this one, I can get that data. Normally you are familiar with these kind of ways to transfer the data from one activity to another activity and to keep the state of one view. But BeforeX pages will help you a lot in this regard. Let's see. Now let's create everything from scratch by BeforeX pages. So I have those two layouts which I had in previous part of this tutorial, which I made that by normal activity. Now I want to make the same uh, project by BeforeX pages. Okay, now it's loading main layout, which is this one. For loading this one, we need another page Let's create that, for example, second. And here I can load this one. So root.load layout and the name of that one, which is layout one. Okay. I can go to this page from here. So let me show you. By clicking on this one, I want to show this page. So as you know, I have to define one variable for this page. Deem, for example, second as second. And I can initialize it here. Second that initialize. And I can add it to before pages. For example, second and the variable is 
this one and now I can show it I explained them all in previous tutorials okay let's run it okay now I see the same view this one we want to solve the first problem to keep the data of other views in other pages how to do it let's type something let's go back Wow it's still here so how to solve the first problem actually it's already solved whatever your user wants to do in your project in your application pages before x pages will keep them all and you don't need to store them if you remove one page from stack maybe you need to store the data otherwise it's already there if you have for example 10 pages and you go from one page you change something there you go to second page you change something there and pages will keep them all so whatever I want to type here for example I make another change and I go back as you see the application is very fast and all data are there this is wonderful great thank you Errol okay let's go to the other thing that before X pages will make for us will do it for us how to transfer data from one page to another page now I want to take the data from one page to another page for example you can imagine one edit text here for login and this button maybe can be login and once I click on this login and I type my name here it takes me to the other page and here it says hello Moala hello Evrel okay let's do it so first I need to go to this layout to make it similar like login page so here I can say login and one edit text here um, to make it better let's do this one and maybe this one okay um, do we need anything like maybe defining this one um, nothing else is needed okay now let's see what happened now I want to go to the other page for example oh my god login is not complete here for example let's say hello to RL and I go here it says hello RL okay it's super easy super easy I can say let's see let's go to this layout I want the data to be shown here so let's define it as one view sorry if that is out of screen okay here label one because I want it to be there after appearing the page so I need to create another um, event which is appear this one and the event for all events inside before X pages is this one before X page and here I want to change the text of this one what is this one we just defined that uh, here this one so I want to say label one the text is equal to let's use this one 
hello and the name of the user if you're using before x pages that's super easy the only thing that you need to do is this one type before x pages dot what was the name of this page main main page i want to have access to that edit text but i cannot see that here why because that is private you can make it public by using dim now let's see if we can see that here yes it's here and what do you want from edit text i want a text let's see okay the program is running and let's see hello rel as you see we can easily transfer the data from one page to another page especially if the data is inside main page but if that is in another page maybe you need more code let's see how to do it So far I told you how to get data from main page. So if you want to get something from main page, that is very easy. But if you want to get data from another page in another page, that's a little bit challenging. Still, that's very easy. So I want to type something here and I want to get it uh, by clicking on this button. How to do it? First, we need to go to this layout. This is the edit text that I want to get the data from this. So I try to define that. Here it says dim edit text. But when I click on that, oh my God, it's private. And I need to change it myself. I hope it can get fixed in other versions of before A. Okay, now let's go here. I want to get the data in this button. Where is this button? Let me show you. This is the button. So by clicking on this one, I want to log the data, which is typed there in that edit text. So I need to log. What can I say? Uh, main uh, what was that before x and then second no I have access to main page but I don't have access to other pages the thing that I have here is get page sorry we need more space here get page and here I can say the ID. What was the ID? This one, second. ID of this one. Second. So this way I have access to all the variables there. But first we need to initialize it in one variable. So let me go here. I can define another variable here as second exactly like this one and make it equal to this one now here I have access to all the views here which is public like this one like this edit text so I say second dot edit text dot text it's still this is very easy isn't it let's run the application okay I go to this page now I'm typing something here and here when I press on this one I can get that but still there is something there let's run the application again I can run that page by clicking on this one but now I don't want to click on this one 
before running it should be empty isn't it but when I click on this it says object if you can see object should be initialized first so this is not initialized this object but uh, that is very easy we can check that by if a statement we can say like this edit text is initialized if that is initialized then you can log otherwise for example we can log something else like type something there first now if I try to run the application like this for the first time it says type something there first and when I click on this one and I run the application and I type something here now I can get that but before that it shows me this one okay as you see keeping the state of the views is very easy in before x pages actually you don't need to do anything special the state the values of all views are there you don't need to change them so if i come here and i'm typing something here then i'm back still the data is there and even if i want to take one data from one page to another page i don't need to define a global variable or maybe saving the data somewhere no it's not needed and easily you can access the data and values of other views in other pages i hope you enjoyed this tutorial so if you have not subscribed in my channel don't forget to subscribe in my channel and if you like my tutorials please hit that like button thank you very much